Welcome to Southend on Sea, a much loved classic British seaside resort. Famous for the longest pier in the world, the seafront amusement park, and traditional fish and chips. On a lovely warm day, what could be better than a day out at Sunny South End? How about cruising along the seafront on the brand new 2021 Suzuki Hayabusa? Back in the 1990s, South End was well known for boy racers, who met for an unofficial cruise night. But this wasn't a new trend. It first started in the 1920s, when cars and motorcycles would meet and race along the seafront. These days, South End welcomes sensible bikers, and I like to think that I usually come into that category. But today, I'm on an absolute beast of a motorcycle, known for its ultimate performance, abundant power, and incredible grunt. The Busa does 0 to 60 in 3.2 seconds, and has reported top speeds exceeding 200 miles an hour. It's absolutely jam-packed with electronic aids, including 10 levels of traction control, 10 levels of anti-wheelie control, a three-way power motor lector, engine brake control, lean angle sensitive ABS, hill start assist, cruise control, and that's just a small selection of what comes as standard. It is mind-boggling for a rider like me, who usually jumps between rain, road, and sport riding modes. But in the real world, how would this bike handle in the city, or in a 20 mile an hour zone? And how did I get on a high busser in the first place? A few years back, I was riding around on a Suzuki GSR 750. I was in London one evening and part of my visor on my helmet snapped off. So the following weekend, I went back to Alpha Motorcycles where I bought the helmet and they replaced the visor with an updated thicker visor free of charge. My daughter Melissa came with me as she was now enjoying being a pillion rider and was in need of her own riding gear. So while the lads at Alpha were changing the visor, we had a good look through their range of helmets and boots. Melissa chose the AGV K3 SV, a pair of RST TrackTech Evo sports boots and a pair of RST Stunt 3 motorcycle gloves. Alpha Motorcycles are also a Suzuki and Yamaha dealer and I got into a conversation about how much would I get if I traded in my GSR for something like a GSXS. I remember looking at a bright red one and saying it really isn't my colour. How about this one, said Lloyd. Behind me was a used Phantom Black GSX S750. It was love at first sight. It was pretty much the same colour as the AGV crash helmet I had just bought for Melissa and had everything I wanted in a bike. A couple of days later, the deal was done and I was the very proud owner of a Suzuki GSX-S 750. I bought a Garmin sat-nav from them, which they fitted. And if you have seen any of my other videos, you will know that this was the bike I rode to Scotland on and had an absolutely awesome time. Whenever I'm in South End, I try and pop into Alpha to say hi. I'm always greeted with a friendly smile and a cup of coffee, and I love browsing their large stock of leathers, helmets, gloves, and accessories. I actually bought a pair of leather trousers for them a couple of years ago, and after wearing them on the bike, they just didn't feel as comfortable as I hoped. Again, I went back to Alpha, and they exchanged them for another brand, and I got an amazing deal and have genuinely always had fantastic customer service. I'm now looking to update my boots as they've had plenty of use. Replace my crash helmet as it's over five years old or I'd love a decent pair of matching gloves. Now if you follow my creative and commercial photography you will know I'm a little bit OCD when it comes to colour coordination and the same applies to my motorcycle and protective gear. I think I'm safe in saying the Alpha motorcycles have such an impressive range of stock. I know I'm not only going to find the right colour gear to match my bike, 
but they also give me best advice too. Now let's be honest, we all like a bargain and more often than not we shop online, especially these days. But I'm sure you will agree that's not really the best way to buy motorcycle clothing. Alpha motorcycles do sell online and their prices are extremely competitive. But my advice would be head to South End for the day, pop into Alpha Motorcycles who are just a few miles ride from the seafront, check out their bikes and gear, pick up a bargain or two, and then go and enjoy an afternoon and an evening along the South End seafront. Which is where I'm heading now on the most powerful bike I've ever ridden, the 2021 Suzuki Hayabusa. So as I mentioned right at the beginning of the video, we all know the Busa is known as the king of speed, and as much as I would have loved the opportunity to ride this bike at speed, I did seriously wonder how it would handle when riding in a built up area, as it's such a big bike. The first thing I was surprised by was how easy this bike is to ride. As soon as I pulled away, I felt like I was riding a much smaller bike. It was so smooth and not at all daunting to ride. I felt like I've actually ridden the bike before, I don't know if that's because I'm used to Suzuki's, but it was effortless. It has a much lower seat height than my Triumph Speed Triple, and I was leaning forward more than I'm used to, but it didn't feel uncomfortable. Within seconds of getting on this bike, I could ride it at walking pace, which really wasn't what I was expecting with such a big bike. Unfortunately for me, I really didn't get the opportunity to ride this bike on the country lanes. But when I did get the chance to open up the throttle, the power was smooth and effortless, as you would imagine. And I could tell that when you hit the mid rev range, the bike would be an absolute thrill to ride. I love the look of the old analog clocks and the TFT display placed directly between them. Other manufacturers should sit up and take note of this. Going by the comments I've seen on bike reviews, I'm convinced this is the look bikers want and not a full TFT display with the digital speedo and rev counter. So although this isn't a full review, I'm extremely grateful to Alpha Motorcycles for asking me to take the High Busser out for a cruise. I'm mega excited that they have kindly sponsored me. All will be revealed in the next video and I cannot wait. So please show your support by checking them out on Instagram and take a look at their website. I'll add a link in the description and if you are based in the UK make sure you go check out their bikes and gear before heading into Southend for a classic British day out. Subscribe, like and comment.